Hi friends, so in today's video I'm going to discuss two career choices, the doctor and the scientist. And here the doctor is a medical doctor. Now most people take this career choice or confront this career choice if they have chosen the field of bio and they are not so much interested in mathematics. So essentially toward the end of high school many people start finding out that they like biochemistry and physics more and maybe they don't like mathematics so much they are jaded by mathematics they find it too abstract and too confusing now some of this may be just because the way mathematics is taught in many high schools but we'll leave that aside for a separate problem so now let us say you are in this basket of people who like physics chemistry and bio now you have the choice to become a medical doctor and you have a choice of becoming a scientist now let's look at the differences between these two professions let's start with the medical doctor first essentially a medical doctor cures people they use their knowledge of the medical field of the human body or of body of any life form to cure people of diseases now some of this can be very simple cures in the case of doctors they prescribe pharmaceutical or it can be something more complex such as surgery now essentially this doctor applies his or her medical knowledge to cure people and therefore there is a direct use of this knowledge to help society and this person comes in contact with a large number of people in general so they may often have to work in hospitals or nursing homes or such places they may even have to make home visits of very sick people they may need to sign death certificates and so on now one of the things which helps you become a doctor is that you should have a desire to help people and you should be good at dealing with people this is very important to keep in mind that most doctors should have an extroverted personality they should like to deal with people they should like to help people they should like to use their knowledge to help people and so on so this is i think the main marker of whether you should become a doctor or scientist now let's look at a scientist now typically scientists study a bachelor's degree in science and here i am talking of people who study physics chemistry and biology in a separate video we will look at the math type of scientist and there we will compare the possibility of a scientist who, stu who studies physics chemistry and math and how that goes along with the engineering profession that's a different problem so essentially what this scientist does is he or she creates new knowledge and this new knowledge is created through papers and patents which are typically done by doing research projects which are sponsored by either the government sometimes sponsored by foundation and sometimes paid for by private companies so a lot of the scientists work in institutions such as pharmaceutical companies they may also work in research labs which seek to find cure of diseases which seek to find new medication new techniques for solving various human condition problems and so on now since this scientist does not often directly benefit the society they often get paid less than doctors who are right in the forefront of dealing with people and so they are at the front end of the market now this can change depending on a situation where the scientist is working for a major pharmaceutical company in this case the drugs they invent the pharmaceuticals they create have huge ramifications and therefore it may turn out that these people are paid quite well now typically to work in a pharmaceutical company you need to go and get a phd so very seldom the knowledge you acquire by simply doing a bachelor's degree will be sufficient to work as a scientist in most companies and research lab you need to go and do a master's degree you need to go and do a phd degree in a specific area such as uh, biochemistry biophysics biotechnology as the case may be now one of the things i find with these type of scientists is that typically these people like to deal with abstractions and concepts they are more introverted in nature 
they are happier dealing with colleagues and peers in their own research labs and so on. So again, I think this is a big marker about whether you want to be a scientist or a doctor. What is your predilection towards people? Do you like to work with a large number of people? Do you like to work with various patients coming in your hospital or in your nursing home daily? And these patients are all different. So that is something you need to consider. And if you are somebody who likes to work with research publications, with a few colleagues or by yourself on creating new knowledge, writing papers, filing patents, then the scientist job is for you. In both the cases, you are going to get a doctor. But you know, the medical doctor is somebody who helps people and the PhD doctor is somebody who helps maybe journals and patents and so on. So that was my take on the career choice doctor versus scientist. I hope you benefit from this video and I will see you soon in a new video. See you then.